way that I learned ceramics is there's a funny story to that. Um, obviously, in East End of London, we tend to get filtered into the system of um, apprentices, and I was starting to become an apprentice plumber. And I walked into the art department in my college by accident and, and just hanged around there for ages. And I got, I was very like, fortunate um, to be um, left with amazing smart facilities because no one cared about it in East London, the Far East, and in Newham. And I, I did a show towards the end um, and had loads of slip glass pieces and I sold a lot of pieces. and heading back to do a bit of plumbing, finish off my plumbing degree for apprenticeship. And then there was a thing called the Outreach Program in St. Martin's. And they have a quota of how that when they go out to the outskirt areas of London, that they'll take in three students every year that they think have um, potential to make it into St. Martin's. And fortunately someone came up to me and went, why don't you give it a go? And, um, you know, do a CV, up, do your portfolio, and see if you can get in. And I gave it a crack, um, got into St. Martin's, and carried on from there. After I left St. Martin's, um, I went to the Royal College a lot, as you always do. Um, the progression from the BA to the MA, that's the route that we normally choose. But then, I'm, no, I'm also known as the Royal Dropout. I dropped out in my second year and I couldn't, I had enough. And then I gave up ceramics for a while. I thought this is rubbish. Um, you know, there's there's some, something else I need to find. I need to find my true calling. But then I became a Sainsbury's manager. A Sainsbury's. I worked as a night shift manager for a while. Um, for a good two years, I was working as a night shift manager. And I gave up ceramics completely. And the way that I acquired these students, and this is a story, um, after one day I received a letter um, and a phone call from a lawyer saying that um, one of my tutors from St. Martin passed away and left me all of his equipment and workshop. And I was like, this is, this is a joke, this is one of those fun jokes that you do. Um, but me and this technician in uni we were very close friends. He always saw the potential in me to teach, but I hated teaching. Um, because I always thought to myself I wasn't good enough to teach um, So he passed away for itself through pancreas cancer. Um, and then I thought this is crazy because I had this whole studio, kiln, wheels, lathe, plaster workshop, the whole of his books, his life sketches, his, um, all his tools, his hand tools and everything. And literally there's even books and, um, and letters that even had um, you know, stuff written about me. And after reading, I thought, you know what? Um, better get my ass into gear. Literally went into into work and went. Um, I had enough and didn't come back. I didn't hand in my resignation and nothing. And then um, started my studio, open up Create Space London with the guys, uh, open access workshop studio, and it, it just snowballed. And now I've got a few studios around London, and people just joining us up and hanging out. Really. And, yeah. Worked out for the best, I reckon. And it's a crazy story, but you know, only in. Better than Sainsbury's. It's a lot better than Sainsbury's. <laughs> <laughs>